Hi there. Oh gosh, I'm so wind blown. My hair. <laughs> it's windy in Hawaii. Um, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Ah, <sighs> Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Scorpio. This is July's readings. So if this resonates and you would like to watch or rent the extended, click that upside down triangle below. It brings up all my links. First one will be to my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com, and it'll be in the July Extended. All right, here we go. What do we want to start with? Uh, let's start with my pink potion oracle, the one I created, one of four. And let's begin. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. You have alchemy, big changes. You are the sign of transformation. Metamorphosis. That's your shit. Mmm, but Scorpios are a fixed sign. They're one of. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Fixed, meaning they don't budge. <laughs> so that's what's actually pretty fucking incredible about Scorpionic energy is, um, and anywhere they have it in their chart, really, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, it could be really prominent. But that's the thing is they rule death and rebirth and change and metamorphosis, but they're very stubborn they, they're stuck uh, they they um they're not volun they're not the first one to raise their hand to say i'll go first for change it's just not i've never met one like that and i haven't met every scorpio but that's just not what it is usually so a lot of scorpios resist change and of course, it depends on the circumstance and situation. There's some situations where they're like, oh God, please, I want change. You see what I mean? So obviously, this is going to pertain to what it's going to pertain to. It either lands or it don't. Now, the bottom of the deck is the Paper Roses card, which I picked because I thought it was, first of all, just gorgeous. You can see the aesthetic of my Pink Potion deck. It's very pink and fabulous and almost glitzy and romantic and floral. Okay, but it's paper roses. What are paper roses? They appear real, but it's it's really not. There's a facade. Someone wants someone to think something, but it's not really what it is. That could pertain to quite a few things, but my gut tells me it's feelings. Someone is stone cold, but inside they are feeling. But, but they don't show that they're feeling because, I mean, it's a lack, of, a lack of vulnerability. To show I'm feeling means that you're going to see inside of me and I don't show you inside of me, especially Scorpio. Scorpios are not vulnerable by nature. They don't trust nobody, not even themselves. <clears throat> this is why to gain the trust of a Scorpio, it is even more powerful than it is for them to love you because they can love you and not trust you. That's just the way they're built. I know this, honey. I, my parents are Scorpios. My grandma was a Scorpio. I've, I've always entertained Scorpio men. Trust me, I'm, I'm fucking fluent in Scorpio. Romantic and non. The, the, the men and the women Scorpios share the same traits, but they're very, very, very different. This is change coming because someone has been avoiding something they've pretended it wasn't it or they're trying to or they're trying to give you something that's not real uh human lie detectors are what they are so whether this is someone trying to present something fake to you you'll know vice versa but again i feel like it's feelings fantasizing see i told you stone cold i don't care i don't give a fuck i'm not interested there's there's this facade right? It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Uh, the fantasizing is, is imagining and dreaming and thinking and, 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 and the possibilities, but then also at the same time, not wanting to completely fully buy into it because when I bite into it in the past and when I fell into it, it didn't work out. So it's this safety defense mechanism thing. 
Someone here is dreaming of someone else as well, too. Of course, Scorpio would be a water sign, water emotions. They're very intuitive, too. You meet, they're, they're going to already know in their gut whether it's a yes or a no. And if it's a yes, they'll still probably run. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's their thing. They just go, fuck, if I'm feeling, I'm out. Now, obviously, depending on the spectrum of where this person is vibrationally on their spiritual journey, someone who's low, low, low vibrational, very unawakened would, I mean, this, they're out. They're going to run. It's toxic. It's, you know, all of these things. And even the most high vibrational Scorpio still, at first, they get very, they're because they're, their nature is to sting. Their nature is to protect their fucking selves by nature but someone gets in see that someone gets in someone gets inside someone gets in their heart someone gets in their soul that's even worse getting in their heart i told you they can love you and not give a fuck <laughs> they really can they can fuck you and not give a fuck they don't give a fuck in the soul that's scorpionic energy soulful Below the surface, what lays beneath. Career. Could be changing career for some of you. A fork in the road. Friendship, something with a friendship could be turning. Might start off as friendships and turn into lovers. Right, so career. Someone here is going to find their lifelong career. We have timeless. So it's, it's not just a timeless love, right? But it's also something with career. It's long term. So it's for the duration. Someone here is going to find their soul calling, their soul path in career. Or this is the direction that it's going to take starting in July. Now that's tricky about time because time is an illusion. Gregorian calendar. What we're feeling is it could be any time from now in June, July, and even a little smidge of August is what I feel. But you're always meant to see something when you're meant to see it. It doesn't mean it's already happened. It could have, it could have, um, it could, could be a prediction for the future. And sometimes this is strictly a prediction for the future. So you just got to be open to it. Don't be attached to the messages. Be open and, and, and go with the flow of it. Now let's talk about this friendship thing. So you have stimulating bottom of the deck. So it's stimulating some juices, honey. Something's moist. Uh, Scorpios rule sex. They they low the they they rule the lower extremities. That's their shit. It's it's, it's sexual connection, but that you can find a lot of places. You can't find soul connection like this. And that's the part where this is a conundrum, as I like to say. Ooh, why? Because it's different. There's something different and this is creating change in a person <clears throat> or in a situation with alchemy being your very first card. Alchemy is taking one thing and turning it into something else. Could this be friends to lovers? Again, it could be, but it can also be that this is just creating great change in a person. Maybe they don't make friends with people. Maybe they say, fuck, I don't let people get close to me to even be friends. And they find themselves feeling like they want to talk to you, confide in you. But I have a feeling that they fight it because again, that's their nature. So it's really important to know what people have in their chart, but it's also really important to know their, their actual personal life experiences because that's what dictates everything, right? Is experience in life, past life, uh, their chart, but also their fucking vibration. Are they still unawakened? Are they cracked open? So all these factors that go into, into place, and then you have another one, a biggie, free will. That's probably the biggest one of all. Patient, they're not. <laughs> you, okay, let's let's talk about the patience thing. I tell you, I'm fluent in it. They're patient when it comes to revenge. They're patient when it comes to vindication. 
They're patient when it comes to striking you if you fucking wronged them. They, they are patient. They'll wait lifetimes. No bullshit. They really will. They'll fucking wait lifetimes. It's like a weird, creepy sort of <clears throat> uh, patience. I, I don't know. It's just weird. They're not patient, though, when they're angry. And when they really, 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 really want something. And it's because oh, oh, they're obsessive. So they'll start obsessing over things. Then they get anxious and then it kind of fuels them. Remember, this is this is ruled by Pluto. Destruction. Ancient co-ruler was Mars. This is why a lot of Scorpios, they're the introverted Aries. Aries are the extroverted Scorpios. Ruled by Mars. Chaos. War. They pop off like that, but they keep it cool, calm, collected. You don't know until they fucking snap. Somebody here is trying to keep something under wraps. Could it be they're being patient because, hey, we're only going to start off as friends. Maybe they're like, yeah, no, 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 I don't want nothing. We're just going to be friends. Something here is not what it is. It's not what it seems is how I'm going to word that. And that's the theme of this reading. It's not what it seems. Where's the paper roses? It's not what it seems. It's not what's being portrayed. It's not what's being said. The gut says differently. The feelings here are differently. The soul connection is saying something else, but they're saying it's this. There's some kind of ending here too. They might be patiently waiting for this shit to end. Because <laughs> it's safer for them. If it ends and I go right back into hibernation, going right back, back to, to, to not feeling, that's great. That's wonderful for me. Because then it requires vulnerability. They don't want to get hurt. Bottom of the deck's new love. Could this be a new connection? Possible. But I also think that the new love could be if this is an existing connection. The, it, it, it's, it's, it's the reality. See, it's hidden truths. Bottom of the fucking deck. I told you. Uh, bitch, I read the fucking energy like, like, like I read a bitch. Precisely accurately <laughs> sorry i love this i love to do that for the haters um i told you it's not what it seems hidden truths are not someone's not saying something either someone's lying to you or you're lying to yourself or they're lying to themselves i don't give a fuck someone's not saying the truth of it it's not what it seems maybe it's ended and someone's trying to prolong it you know I, however it's going to fit for you it's not what it seems. It's not what's being portrayed. And I told you, I felt it was feelings. Especially because you have new love here. So it's a potential new love interest. This doesn't mean that it's someone that you wouldn't like or there's no mutual attraction. That tells us there's mutual attraction here. It's a prospect. It's a potential. Something ended. You want to know what I fucking think too? There's something here about a birthday or a wish. Because you know how when you make a birthday wish and you blow it out? Look at the candle. The candle is blown out. That's why I chose it for this card for endings. Could it be a wish come true? Whimsical and tickled pink. You got this hardcore person who doesn't even like to smile or doesn't really take shit seriously. You got them all. <laughs> or, is it, or is that you blushing? Tickled fucking pink. You got... <laughs> then you realize, oh my God, I laughed at their text. Fuck. Talking on the phone. There's a whimsical vibe here. It's the unicorn, which is rare. Right? This connection is rare. Bitch, I didn't even touch the tarot. See how much I love my cards? This is my pink potion. One of my newest ones. If you guys missed the pre-order. You know how I like to keep my shed exclusive, honey? I don't know. Maybe we'll open it up again. I don't know. I like to keep my shit super exclusive. In the extended, we're going to use a tarot. But let's just see what else we got here before we go into your extended. Um, I'd like to use the angel answers because I know you guys want to know it all. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me. No need to worry. Oh, that's real helpful. <laughs> I mean, it is. Don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Three little birds. Trust. Trust. Exactly. Trust. 
Trust that it's all gonna work itself out. Trust that if it goes, let it. If it comes, let it. Be in the motherfucking flow. Don't try to control shit. Go with the flow. And if it flows in another direction, let it be. I, I, it's like I'm fucking psychic or something. Look at your last card, big happy changes. That was your first fucking card, alchemy, change, big changes, metamorphosis. And here we have it as your last card before we get into extended. Big happy changes. All right, thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions here on YouTube. <coughs> Again, <coughs> if you want to rent this, click that upside down triangle below. Go to my website, saltwaterhillstrial.com, July Extendeds. Also, follow me on Patreon because it's the only place you guys can watch the Extendeds for the special love readings I do for the collectives. There's also a whole bunch of erotic tarot readings and timeless readings there that you can't watch anywhere else, okay? All right, guys. See you in the Extended. Love you.